नेक्स्ट इज प्राइस नाउ जस्ट बिकॉज मेरा ब्रांड प्रोडक्ट है तो इसके लिए मैं कुछ भी प्राइस चार्ज करूँ इज नॉट फेयर इफ दैट इज द केस देन इट गोज इन अ नेगेटिव वे इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कस्टमर्स सो द कस्टमर शुड फील दैट दे आर गेटिंग वैल्यू फॉर मनी ऐसा नहीं है कि भाई हजार रुपए का प्रोडक्ट लिया और जिसका वर्थ दो सौ भी नहीं था अगर ऐसा हुआ कस्टमर एक बार उल्लू बनेगा बार बार नहीं बनेगा और वो कस्टमर जो एक बार उल्लू बनता है वो और सौ जन को जाके क्लियर कट बोल देता है भाई ये प्रोडक्ट नहीं खरीदना ये कंपनी या ये प्रोडक्ट हमको उल्लू बनाता है देन इट गोज फॉर अ नेगेटिव पब्लिसिटी सो इंस्टेड इवन इफ योर प्रोडक्ट इज ब्रांडेड बट द कस्टमर शुड नॉट फील चीटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्राइस सो द प्रोडक्ट हैज टू बी प्राइज मार्जिनली If if possible, then lower price should be preferred. Not that lower where the customer start doubting on the quality of the product. But yes, he should not be even overpriced. Otherwise, there will be a negative impact on the brand. Next is brand association. Now, brand association basically. Um, like for example why do so many celebrities are been used to advertise the product because it is the association like yes ye product amitabh bachchan use karta hai ye product salman khan use karta hai ye product dhoni use karta hai ya ye product katrina kaif use karti so basically what they are trying to associate it with the famous personalities that is nothing but brand association and the last is origin origin plays a important role in branding like for example the company who is coming up for the first time in the market they are trying to do a you know they are branding or you know promoting their product for the first time then it will be very difficult for them to fight in this in today's time the because there is a lot of competition which is you know prevailing in the market so ultimately like for example if if tata wants to introduce anything it is very easy for tata and people are ready to adopt and accept the product why because the origin has been long back way back years back okay but if anybody tries to create a brand or a new product in today's time people are really not sure or you know not only people but it will take a uh, you know com company has to go to through a long struggle in order to do positioning of their product or you know basically hum bolte na apni jadi gaadna aise competition mein it becomes really difficult in today's time but, so origin also is one of the factor which influence the branding so clear with all the factors yes next we go for brand equity but before brand equity what i request you is to go through this write down the pointers of this because brand equity although is a topic continuation in branding but a different or a separate question can ask only related to brand equity so i'll uh, you know teach you brand equity just after 5 minutes i want you to take down the pointers of branding first but make sure out of these three one question is definitely coming for sure and that can be either in the form of 5 marks or 7 marks that we'll see but yes one question is for sure coming from this so i'll give you 5 minutes immediately write down the pointers then we'll start with brand equity okay after branding done with branding okay now we are going to start with brand equity brand equity word is a buzzword in today's time what exactly is brand equity humne sabne ye brand equity suna bhi hai nahi suna hai you know it is a mixed opinion in today's time but yes it is a buzzword so what exactly is brand equity it means the value of brand in the market what a particular brand now for example every brand has certain value in the market like example if i say when you talk about a product like bmw and when you talk about a uh, maruti suzuki car these two has a brand image okay but for different people in a different area in, in arena and a different views okay when i talk about bmw it is like wow car like you know a luxury super luxurious car a good engineering or featured car when i talk about maruti car it is again a wow car for a people you know who ask you who wants to spend less on uh, you know after sale services or basically uh, really want to go in a in a less expensive manner okay when it comes to traveling in a car okay so both has a brand image but in for different people in different perspective so it me what does the brand equity exactly states it is a, it means the value of a brand in the market it is the value and strength of the brand that decides it worth like for example customers are not fooled okay when you say 
customers are ready to pay a premium price like for example today even micro max phone is popular and even iphones are popular okay today even you know vivo phone or oppo phone or le tv phones which are max costing 10 to 15 grams they are also popular and even when you compare it with samsung edge or iphone or sony phone okay they are even uh, equally popular but the two products are demanded by complete different segments of people now the people who are you know definitely pay going for a iphone uh, you know apple phone definitely know their know the worth of the product these apple company charge a premium price for the product accepted but people are obviously ready to pay that premium price reason it's value and strength strength of the product okay and not only that which people you actually decide kisi aur ke paas nahi hai wo mere paas hai now that status symbol okay the extended features that is all been you know decides the brand equity okay so understood with the meaning of brand equity what exactly brand equity is it is nothing but there is a market jahan pe there are n number of brands which are available even of the same product or related products or different product and person you know uh, who is going to make a purchase gets or finds the value of that particular brand the customer don't mind paying that extra money paying the premium price if they get the worth of that product like there are people who are ready to you know uh, fly uh, fly by flight or travel by flights and there are people who are ready to travel by even trains okay but the main thing is what over here did that it is a valuation now some people might consider that traveling by flight is you know a status symbol first thing time for them matters they are ready to pay a premium price as well why going why comparing train and rail we can compare the economy class and the first class in the flight okay so that is nothing but yes when the person is sitting in the first class definitely he gets something extra and not something extra but definitely extra facilities services check in check out everything is done on the priority basis of the first class customers uh, rather than uh, on uh, economy class customer so that is nothing but brand equity okay the value yes when i'm paying 1 lakh rupee extra i know why i'm paying and for what reason i'm paying that so that is nothing but brand equity now what are the factors that decides or determines the brand equity let us go through it now first thing is brand awareness awareness is simply that how many people are aware about the brand the more the popularity of the brand the more is the or extended brand equity the product carries okay or the company carries why because more the awareness it, that means it has a positive impact as well and when it has a positive impact people are ready to buy the product when people continuously buy the product it it actually you know goes on creating value or strengthen the existing uh, uh, image of the brand next is brand image itself now brand image if it is positive people when they accept the product when they accept the product uh, brand then the image becomes positive but once if the customer encounters that he has been fooled by the company or somewhere he is not satisfied with the services of the company okay then the image is been tarnished and the, there becomes a negative image like for example just now i gave you an example of maggie yes that yes repositioning karne ki position you know रीपोजिशन करने की जरूरत क्यों पड़ी बिकॉज उसकी ऑलरेडी जो पोजिशन थी वो खराब हो चुकी थी उसकी जो इमेज थी वो खराब हो चुकी थी इफ देर इज अ पॉजिटिव इमेज अल्टीमेटली इट टर्न्स आउट टू बी गुडविल फॉर द कंपनी एंड गुडविल विल गो ऑन एक्सटेंशन इन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ ब्रांड इक्विटी द थर्ड इज परसिव्ड क्वालिटी ऑफ द ब्रांड वट यू मीन बाई परसिव परसिव इज नथिंग बट द कस्टमर्स परसेप्शन टूवर्ड्स अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट टूवर्ड्स अ पर्टिकुलर कंपनी ओके नाउ परसिव्ड क्वालिटी ऑफ द ब्रांड just now we covered that in over here in quality factors influencing quality over here when we talk about factors influencing branding we did the for uh, the point quality okay in the similar fashion when we talk about brand equity perceived quality of the brand now what is perceived quality of the brand that customer as according to the customer's perception okay product kaun se quality ka hai depending on the brand name of course when you are spending crore of rupees to buy a jaguar you will not expect the kind of uh, engineering or kind of features which are being used in nano or rather tata indica yes jaguar is again owned by tata group you know right okay so quality kya hai when you are paying higher people are ready to pay for what the kind of quality that the product is offering okay next is brand association like 
nowadays we do many of you know products we try to associate it with the brands uh, you know the famous personalities like for example bill gates for micro uh, microsoft when we talk about reliance it is dhirubhai ambani aaj tak mukesh aur anil yaad hi nahi aate okay when you, whenever we talk about reliance it is always dhirubhai ambani whenever we talk about uh, apple company it is always steve jobs okay so this is nothing but brand association next brand loyalty when the customer is satisfied he makes a repeat purchase of the product and when he continuously make a repeat purchase about the same product or the same brand product okay the customer turns out to be a loyal customer that is nothing but a brand loyalty customer shows his willingness in again and again in his repetitive purchases not only that but he goes on do a positive publicity about the product thereby getting more customers for the company for the same product that is nothing but brand loyalty and the last is channel relationship what do you mean by channel relationship it is a kind of a relationship which a company tends to maintain with the intermediaries in the for in the you know in the relationship channel for example product has been manufactured by a manufacturer but it is reached to the ultimate consumer through various intermediaries like wholesaler retailer agent distributors and all so how the company want to maintain the relationship with the mediators if the if there is a really positive uh, relationship good relationship even mediators or these channel intermediaries put on 200% of their efforts in order to create a good brand image or you know brand equity for the product and the company so ultimately it is the relationship that a company thinks or you know wants to maintain with the uh, various intermediaries okay so that's it from the brand equity point of view you can just take down the pointers again once again what is brand equity it is nothing but it means a value a value of a brand in the market there are n number of brands which are present in the market usme se kiski value zyada hai of course har koi you know same position pe nahi khada reh sakta there is always in, in every industry there is one who is a major uh, competitor for everybody or who is the leader rather we'll say Uh, you know use the word leader who leads the particular industry so that is nothing but a brand equity a major value or strength of that particular brand aaj tata lo khade ho gaye aaj reliance khada ho gaya aaj sbi agar banking industry mein khada ho gaya so these has a more brand equity or you know i'll say more value or strength lot of strength is associated with just this name or the brand that is nothing but brand equity all right take down the pointer of brand equity and then we'll continue further okay after brand equity the last topic of third unit is pricing decision the second p of uh, out of the four p's of marketing mix that is pricing decision we are not new to this term that what is pricing pricing is the exchange value okay for any product now one other day is where you know we used to exchange goods for goods abhi hum wo duniya mein nahi rehte ki jahan pe humko goods ke samne goods mile ya goods ke samne hum goods de okay now we are staying in the world where the entire exchange system is in the in the monetary terms so now we are going to focus on the pricing decision only with uh, with the exchange medium of money okay so what basically is pricing 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 is nothing but a exchange value which is you know given to a particular product majorityly when you see a pack goods okay you find that mrp what is that mrp mrp is the maximum retail price okay now that is a combination of various thing that includes cost that includes profits that includes taxes okay that includes transportation cost that includes your uh, manufacturing cost of course that includes the packaging cost everything clubbed in one that mrp rate okay so that is nothing but pricing now what are the factors that a person should consider or basically what exactly is the pricing mix okay the what are the variables that are considered in a price mix the first is product pricing matlab ek individually wo product ka price kya hai market mein ya kya hona chahiye for example we stay in a competitive world if i am not able to judge the product of my price i simply what i do i copy the price of the competitor so फर्स्ट थिंग वो प्रोडक्ट बनाने के लिए मेरे पास मुझे कितना खर्चा लग रहा है दैट इज नथिंग बट प्रोडक्ट प्राइसिंग ओके एक प्रोडक्ट या अगर उसके देर आर वेरियस फैक्टर्स दैट इन्फ्लुएंस माई प्रोडक्ट प्राइसिंग लाइक उसकी डिमांड कितनी है मार्केट में वेदर यू नो इट इज बीन कंज्यूम्ड ऑन डेली बेसिस ऑन हो वेदर आई हैव टू यू नो गो थ्रू अ लॉन्ग चैनल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन ऑर्डर टू मेक माई प्रोडक्ट अवेलेबल टू द अल्टीमेट यूजर और एल्स आई रिक्वायर लॉर्ड ऑफ पैकेजिंग और यू नो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट माई प्रोडक्ट और द लाइफ ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इज वेरी शॉर्ट सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेरियस 
various other category, you know, criteria, I decide on the pricing of the product. Second variable is discounts and allowances. Whether I am ready to give any sort of discounts or allowances on that particular product. Like for example, if the product is being purchased in bulk, definitely there are various discounts which are offered. Like for example, when a wholesaler purchases a product from a manufacturer, he is entitled to a very big, big, big discount. Why? Because he buys in bulk. Now a simple example which I give you, you buy a Monaco biscuit or a bonbon biscuit from a retail shop, he is going to give you at the same MRP price. You buy it from Big Bazaar, Dmart or Metro, you will find a slight difference, you know, or rather not difference, a discount price on the MRP. Like 10 rupees wala hoga to 9, 8, 7, ye humko itane discount price mein milta hai. Why? The advantage is passed on to the customer. Why? Reason? Because the person from whom you are purchasing has purchased in bulk. And so that, so because he has purchased in bulk, he has got a discount from the manufacturer. And that discount, he is passing it to the customers. So that is nothing but a discount allowances and allowances. Next is terms of sale. Like whether I am going to sell you in, the, in what basically bulk quantity. Like when I talk about terms of sale, uh, it's well, the very essential point that I need to keep in mind is the demand. Like when the product is in huge demand, obviously the sale will take uh, take place on a regular basis. So at that time, the uh, the money flow or the product flow is constantly happening. But when the product is less in demand, okay, or is demanded by only few customers, then at that time, what I should do? Whether I should go ahead with the law, credit policy, like. अगर मेरा फटाफट फटाफट टर्नओवर फटाफट है, ओके या मेरा सेल फटाफट हो रहा है, तो फिर मुझे क्रेडिट टर्म इतना ज़्यादा नहीं चाहिए, लाइक मेरे को दो महीना तीन महीने के लिए पेमेंट अटका के नहीं रखना पड़ेगा इमीडिएटली यू नो मंगाया कंज्यूम हुआ दूसरा मंगा रहे हो तो मैं पहले का पेमेंट कर रहे हो बट इफ प्रोडक्ट लेट लेट मार्केट मतलब डिमांड है बट उसका सप्लाई धीरे धीरे हो रहा है या फिर यू नो उसकी डिमांड भी धीरे धीरे आ रही है लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल लग्जूरियस प्रोडक्ट देन डेफिनेटली आई बाई आई कीप द प्रोडक्ट इन माई वेयर हाउस बट आई डोंट मेक द पेमेंट ऑन द इमीजिएट बेसिस वंस द प्रोडक्ट इज सोल्ड और आई टेक साउंड सर्टन पीरियड एज अ क्रेडिट पीरियड दैट आर नथिंग बट टर्म्स ऑफ सेल Next is terms of delivery. Like many companies right, right now are offering free service, free delivery, free home delivery. And when you talk about uh, online business, when you talk about um, e like uh, Flipkart, Zabong, Amazon, we see that we get a product at a discounted rate, but we have to pay shipping charges. Now what are the shipping charges? Shipping charges are nothing but the delivery charges. Okay, so again, whether, uh, whether to give a free delivery or whether to you know, charge for the delivery, again, that is considered over here. And lastly, the pricing strategy. What kind of pricing strategy am I using? Whether it is skimming, whether it is penetration, whether it is the follow following the leader, there are various strategies that will that will see today itself. Okay, in the uh, continuing in continuing lectures. Okay, so there are as good as seven to eight different types of pricing strategy out of which which strategy a company desire to follow. Basically, that. So this is what the pricing mi price mix is when a company decide on pricing so these are the variables that company considers when they decide or you know shortlist on the price now now pricing effect or has an impact separately on separate people now whom it is going to be you know pricing is important or has a significant value to three main parties which are they first is to the business itself business firm second is uh, of course it is to the customer and third it is to the economy why because the product is being sold in a particular economy so it does have an impact on the economy and in return the eco economy also impact the product pricing now what are that significance or what are the sub points which are covered in each of this main head we are going to see now okay so first we'll discuss about the business how pricing has an impact on the business the first pointer in sign uh, of significance in business form is determines market demand more the demand of the product company can generate more revenue the pricing company if other competitors are not there in the same segment company can charge premium price for the product like for example iphone everybody eagerly waits when the iPhone, you know, when the new phone is getting launched, launch, they always wait for a launch. Okay, so that is a demand for the particular product. For that, that's why uh, you know Apple is charging a high or a premium price. So basically, uh, what pricing is important to the firm in order to determine the demand. Now again, 
there at times when i charge high price i lose on major customers also like out of 100% population 5 or 10% people will you know prefer to buy a high price product what about the remaining 90% population so definitely they also demand the product now when they demand obviously they are not demanding such a high price product they demand something which is lower than the what is demanded by that 5 to 10% population so the demand is more when it comes to the downers you know downers uh, population but again at that time the price has to be lowered down so first factor it is to determine the demand second conveys product image now how the people you know is taking a particular product like for example i just gave you the example of bmw while doing brand equity when a person thinks of buying a brand uh, bmw why he you know what are the major reason he wants to buy a bmw obviously a uh, good engineering uh, what you can say engine basically then luxurious car the a status symbol so it conveys a product image yeah agar bmw hai to definitely class product hai when you talk about you know uh, वेट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कोलगेट ओके देन वो कैसा प्रोडक्ट यू नो क्या इमेज पोर्ट्रे करने की ट्राई कर रहा है राइट नो इफ यू गो थ्रू द कमर्शियल्स ऑफ कोलगेट देन दे आर ट्राइंग टू पोर्ट्रे दैट फ्रॉम एजेस सिंस जनरेशन पीपल आर यूजिंग द कोलगेट ब्रांड सो दे आर ट्राइंग टू कन्वे अ पॉजिटिव इमेज डेफिनेटली इतने सालों से पब्लिक यूज कर रही है कैसे यूज कर रही है क्यों यूज कर रही है बिकॉज दे आर सेटिस्फाइड कस्टमर दे आर लॉयल कस्टमर टूवर्स द product brand that is a colgate and pricing of course so product image high price hoga to ultimately image kaisi hogi ki ha bhai ye luxurious product hai ya fir ye to kuch zyada achhi quality wala product hai agar low price hoga again jaise giffen paradox ka hai na uh, we have studied in economics that whenever there is a rise in price demand falls and whenever there is a fall in price demand rises but there is a Uh, paradox or against that the theory what, there is one contradictory theory to that also when the price rises the demand for the product also rises and when the price falls the demand also falls so there is a paradox as well so when the pr- person when a company tries to uh, convey what the product image is of their pr- company uh, to the customer they simply if it is a high price customer understands that it is a high end product or you know quality product and reverses the case vice versa for the low price product next is earning profit obviously company koi bhi start hoti hai to profit earn karne ke liye hi hoti hai so ultimately the pricing is is going to definitely help company in generating profit why because that in price has a uh, what you can say has a criteria of profit which is included in the price itself next is recovers cost the price pricing helps to recover the cost of production not only production but entire cost production transportation manufacturing or uh, sorry packaging then taxes everything so it helps a company to recover pricing aisa hona chahiye jaise profit starting mein generate na ho to chale but mera cost recover ho jana chahiye ye har businessman ke dimag mein hota hai then last is determine market share now we understand what is market share market share is nothing but how far reaching effect the product or the company has like for example when you talk about classes there is one classes and there are n number of branches okay of that particular classes or forget about classes we talk about bank ek bank hai jiska ek hi branch hai aur ek bank hai jiska 10 branch hai to hum kya bolenge market share kiska zyada hai obviously the bank which has which is having a 10 branches over the bank which is having only one branch so whether the company is really focusing on increasing the market share when company focuses on increasing the market share then the pricing has to be kept lower in order to capture more market okay like for example you see maruti honda and hyundai car showroom everywhere in the suburb areas majority at every place okay but when you talk about porsche rolls royce bmw do you they have very few uh, outlets okay very few outlet mercedes again very one or two outlet in suburb areas okay so that is nothing that but that determines the pricing determines the market share as well lower the price of the product it can the market share can be increased higher the price of the product market share can be decreased or limited market rather than decrease it is a limited market share then next is to customer what how, how pricing influences customer decision or how it has a significant impact on the customer first is right product through pricing customer can judge whether the product is right like for example koi bhi banda aise hi product nahi kharita unless and until they value it in against the product now when you purchase uh, like for example i'll give you a small example when we purchase any product from train 
like right from bindi or earrings you know invitation jewelry earring or uh, nail paint hamara dimag mein ek price fixed hota hai ki train mein hai to 10 se 15 rupees se zyada nahi hoga so and when a person who is selling the product if he or she tells you that it is of 35 40 rupees what do you do you just simply reject the product why because you know the correct value of the product or you prefer buying that product at that price only that is nothing but again <coughs> sorry that is nothing but it is a right product it helps you um, to judge the product according to the price okay of the product which is being uh, levied on it next is product quality just now as i said over here conveys product image over your product quality if the price of the product is higher it has understood that the quality is of you know super quality super class quality if the price of the product is lower it is understood again that the quality is compromised or it is of either of a it is of a low quality third is satisfy customer wants now every company uh, every customer has certain needs and wants that can purely be satisfied okay when the per customer is actually going and buying the product now in that between that demand or need and actually customer going and buying the product pricing plays a great role why me ko need to hai abhi agar need agar necessity goods ki hai then i am going to buy it definitely at any price mere khane peene ki cheeze hai agar wo hamari hai to we are going to definitely going to buy at a higher price also why because it is needed okay and i'll try to satisfy my want but if at all the product is not uh, so necessity product then how i'm going to go and buy like for example tv refrigerator and all the stuff okay they satisfy the human want television satisfy the human want of entertainment but ultimately pricing does plays an impact important role whether to buy a 1 and 1/2 lakh tv or just my want is to you know satisfy my want is just to see the entertainment channel that can be satisfied in 20000 lcd tv as well so that is nothing but a satisfy customer wants next is status symbol of course this is understood by what if i am buying a mercedes why i am buying a mercedes the ultimate aim is traveling but i am buying a mercedes reason by status symbol mujhe apna status maintain karna hai main apne relatives friends family club mein jaun to aise mercedes leke jaun to aise lagna chahiye ha bhai koi aaya hai there are people who are buying nano also why they don't care for the status they care only for convenience so if i want to prefer that high file status profile then i am definitely going to pay a premium price for the product i am ready to pay a premium price for the product but if i don't really care for the status then the premium price product a person is not going to buy that and the next is aspiration level increase now when i talk about uh, when a company has a good brand image okay and uh, when they are able to satisfy human wants on a continuous basis customers aspiration okay level always goes on increasing when you are satisfied like for example many people are status satisfied by buy bata products bata koi bhi product leke aata hai public satisfied especially rainy wear shoes okay so bata koi bhi product leke aata hai public satisfied public demand karti hai wo product ka so they just eagerly wait people just eagerly wait ki bata kuch naya leke aaye kuch naya leke aaye wo naya chahiye naya laaye laaye uske pehle customer start buying the product they keep on buying the product bata product so it is nothing but at that time if the pricing is also bit high people don't mind paying that why because they want something extra the level of their expectation or aspiration has been increased now so that again has a pricing has an impact yes but if overpriced now for example if a customer you know has aspired a product or you know is expected something good from the product and when the company launches the product they charge a premium price people buy at premium price but ultimately their satisfaction level goes down then it goes negative for the customer and overpriced product and again the level of aspiration has also come down why because the product has not performed well or up to the mark then it goes in a negative way okay now let us see clear from the customer point of view now let us see from the e